Is early show contributor Jennifer Hartstein, a child and adolescent psychologist. Good morning. Good morning. Is there a single most important thing to keep in mind when you're trying to discipline a child? You want to make sure that the punishment fits the crime. Mm. Discipline is really different than punishment. So you want to be able to teach while you're also setting limits. Right. And that's a really important component. So you want to know your kid, know what's going to work, know what's meaningful, and then put it into play. Know that a lesson is being learned. Yes. As opposed to, here's this putative thing because of this behavior. Punishment know. doesn't teach anything new. Mm -hmm. It just tells kids what to be afraid of or right. what they might lose. And maybe they'll be more secretive or maybe they'll hide out mm -hmm. you know, a little bit more. Right. So it's important in discipline to say this is the consequence because this is what you did. Right. What can you do next there time? There you go. It, uh, it is absolutely an equation. Can you apply that uh, uh, equation to a, a toddler? Yes, absolutely. You right. can start and you have to start early. It's really important to start as young as you can letting your kids know what your expectations are. Right. And they will know that as they become an adolescent and it's only going to help in the long run for you as a parent. So zero to two, what, what would be the best uh, kinds of approaches? Then? You want to be able to get down to the eye level of your kid. Mm -hmm. You want to say clearly what you expect from them and you want to create timeout areas that are quiet, no distractions, no extra stimulation because then they're going to not really be in timeout. Okay, all right. So they they get that. Then. They do. Zero, you, zero. They do. I don't like it when you hit your sister. Mm -hmm. Because you hit your sister, you're going to timeout. All right, all right. It's three to five then. This is where it gets really interesting. Right. Three to five, they start to have some more abstract thinking. Mm -hmm. So you want to let them know what the expectation is. If you walk in and your three year old is drawing on the wall, mm -hmm. you aren't going to throw them into a punishment. They don't know that they did something wrong. So you want to say, you don't draw on the wall, but if you do it again, we're going to have have a timeout and you want to let them know and that every time you catch them doing something good mm -hmm. you want to reinforce that <laughs> when you catch them doing something you, good. you know <laughs> if they're about to draw on the wall and they don't you want to be able okay. to say thank all you for not doing that all right let's jump to six to eight year olds six to how, eight year how old. does the how does this change how does this evolve again their thinking is getting more complex mm -hmm. so you really want to let them know that there's an immediate consequence you did this this is what you're going to lose right. you want it to be quick you want to also explain why they're having a consequence right. what's the reasoning so that they're starting to really learn. Mm -hmm. And they, these kids can have an extended timeout. Maybe mm -hmm. they get a half an hour in their room of quiet time, mm. and then they can come back and you want to uh, talk to them about it some more. All right, let's move up then to 9 to 12 year olds. 9 to 12 year olds can learn that there are natural consequences. If they don't pay <laughs> attention and do their homework, they're going to get in trouble for the teacher. Yeah. Many parents will swoop in. Don't do that. Let right. them deal with that. They can lose privileges, lose their phone, lose TV time, can't watch their favorite show. And you can start with some grounding. They can't go to the play date because they were mean to their sibling. Yeah, you know, people would be sitting here watching this and they'll say, well, you know, spanking worked on me. I, you know, I certainly want to spank my kids. It's a really, really tough question. The thing about spanking is, again, like punishment, it doesn't teach anything new. Mm -hmm. It's not going to give new information, and it could teach them to be aggressive. So you really want to keep that to a minimum as much as possible. All right, and then 13 and up quickly? 13 and up. Negotiate on rules. Don't be their friend. We've talked about that before. Right. And you want to make it time-limited, very specific punishment that fits their, their behavior. Right. <laughs> it's hard. Discipline is hard. I think taking away the electronics is probably going to be one of the big things. Yep. Loss right? of screen time, TV, computer, phone, all, all right. of it. Dr. Jennifer Hartson, as always, thank you. Thank you.